If you're only going to subscribe to one streaming service, and you want that one streaming service to cover all of your bases for both live and on-demand TV, I think Hulu Plus Live TV is your best bet. Stay tuned to find out why. Alrighty everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Matt and I am the host of Shall I Stream It? Today I'm going to be talking about Hulu Plus Live TV. If you like this video as we're going along, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel for all things streaming. If you haven't already, make sure to follow Shall I Stream It on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok, and also visit shallistreamit.com. There's going to be chapter times down in the description below if you need to skip ahead to anything, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first we're going to go over the basics of what is Hulu Plus Live TV and what it includes. Now, Hulu Plus Live TV includes a regular Hulu subscription as well as 75 plus live channels and Disney Plus and ESPN Plus all for one monthly price. Now, you get everything that you would get with a regular standalone Hulu subscription with Hulu Plus Live TV. I've made a separate video about Hulu, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the Hulu standalone subscription. Just know that all of the Hulu originals and on-demand content you're also going to get with Hulu Plus Live TV. But what I'm really going to focus on today are going to be those live channels that you're getting with Hulu Plus Live TV. Now, these are the same channels that you would get with a cable subscription. They're not watered down baby channels. The difference is, unlike cable, you don't have equipment that you have to install. Everything's over the internet. And your membership renews on a month-to-month -month basis without any commitment, so you're not tied into an expensive contract. You can get Hulu Plus Live TV on pretty much any device. Basically anything that runs Hulu can run Hulu Plus Live TV. What I like about it is it bundles both a huge library of on-demand content that you get from Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus with those live channels together in one tidy package. So let's talk about the channel lineup. Now you do get local channels with Hulu Plus Live TV. Uh, some of those vary based on the region that you're in, particularly regional sports networks. I'll say that in my region, I'm able to get all four of the major networks, so Fox, NBC, ABC, and CBS. Now in addition to those aforementioned local channels, you get a wide range of cable channels too. For the entertainment and lifestyle channels, those include A&E, Animal Planet, BET, Bravo, Comedy Central, Food Network, E, FX, HGTV, Lifetime, MTV, TBS, TNT, Turner Classic Movies, VH1, USA, and Vice. As for family and kids channels, that includes Boomerang, Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Nickelodeon, Nick Jr., and Universal Kids. For news channels, you get ABC News Live, you get CBS News, CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC. With sports channels, you get ESPN, ESPN2, all the various ESPN channels, NFL Network, the Big Ten Network, CBS Sports Network, FS1, and FS2. They also have some premium add-ons that you can do. Those include Cinemax, HBO Max, Showtime, and Stars. You can do a package that adds on additional sports channels, including NFL Red Zone, one that has additional entertainment channels, and there's a package of Spanish channels. Now Hulu Plus Live TV includes different channels that some of their competitors do not, uh, such as A&E, Boomerang, CNN, TBS, TNT, and Vice. Um, on the flip side, there are a few channels Hulu Plus Live TV does not have, like AMC and the Hallmark Channel, but pretty much any live TV streaming app is going to have channels it includes and channels that it doesn't, so you have to make that decision over which channel lineup is the best for you. So let's get into the cloud DVR. Now, in the past, one of the biggest hangups that people have had with Hulu Plus Live TV is their cloud DVR for a couple of reasons. 
Number one, it only has 50 hours of Cloud DVR storage included with the base package. Number two, some shows that you record have commercials that it doesn't let you skip past. In the past, what Hulu Plus Live TV has done is offer an upgrade that they call the Enhanced Cloud DVR. Now the thing that's really awesome is starting out next month, um, at the time I'm recording this, it's March of 2022, but on April 13th of next month, they are giving all of the customers unlimited DVR at no extra cost. So if you're paying extra for that upgrade, you will have your bill monthly bill reduced. And if you are just a standard member, you'll get these extra benefits at no extra cost. So how it's going to work is you can record as much as you want and it will stay on your DVR for nine months. Now, I don't know about you, but if I haven't watched a show within nine months, you might as well delete it anyway. I think it's a really cool feature that they're adding in that really is a game changer as far as stacking up against the competition. So on to other features with Hulu Plus Live TV. You can create up to six profiles per account. Certain Hulu originals can stream in 4K as well as HDR at no extra cost and members that have a Hulu no ads plus live TV plan, more on that later, can also download certain on-demand content for offline play. You can stream on up to two devices at a time, which for you know singles or couples that are getting this membership shouldn't be a problem. Now, if you have more than three people that are gonna be watching your Hulu accounts, uh, they do have an unlimited screens add-on. As you're watching shows, you can pull up the live guide that's going to show you all of the different shows that are going to be airing over the next two weeks. You can record shows through here. You can also create a list of favorite channels, so that's nice. You don't have to go through the full list. Uh, you can just jump ahead straight to the channels that are going to be the ones you watch the most. The sports tab is pretty neat also, um, instead of having to go between channel to channel to find the different games that are coming up, it lists everything in a super visual, eye-popping way. Now since ESPN Plus is included with your membership, you can watch all of that ESPN Plus content directly in the Hulu app. Uh, when it comes to Disney Plus, you do still have to go through the separate Disney Plus app, but you get full access to everything on Disney Plus. So if you want to watch The Mandalorian or any of the Marvel shows, Avatar, any of the kids programming, Disney cartoons, all of that, you get all of that included at no extra cost with your Hulu Plus Live TV account. So let's get on to the plans and the pricing for Hulu Plus Live TV. There's going to be two basic plans based on whether or not you want to eliminate ads with the on-demand Hulu content. If you get the uh, standard Hulu Plus Live TV plan, that is going to be $69.99 per month. This includes full access to ESPN+, Plus, Disney+, Plus, all 75 plus live channels, as well as Hulu's on-demand library with advertising breaks. If you wanna eliminate those ads, um, that is going to be $75.99 per month. You get access to all of the stuff mentioned before, the difference is, is that uh, a lot of the ads are going to be removed from the on-demand shows and movies with Hulu. You can also download Hulu shows for offline play. So I'll just kind of run down some of the add-ons that you can do. If you get unlimited screens, that's going to be $9.99 per month. Uh, for the Entertainment Networks add-on, that's $7.99 per month. If you add on the Sports Networks, those extra ones I mentioned, like the NFL Red Zone, that's $9.99 per month. The Spanish networks are $4.99 per month. If you do the premium networks, um, now these, I will say a lot of times they either have free trials or discounts going on. The standard prices at least are Showtime at $10.99 per month, HBO Max at $14.99 per month, Cinemax at $9.99 per month, and Stars at $8.99 per month. 
So let's go through my final thoughts and what I think about Hulu plus live TV. Now, I've tried different live TV streaming services like Fubo or YouTube TV. I think each of those services kind of has its own nuances. What I like about Hulu Plus Live TV is just the vast range of both on-demand content you get as well as the live content. As I noted in my review for the standalone Hulu subscription, what I really like about Hulu is it's one of those places remaining that you can get a whole bunch of different content from different networks and studios together in one place. So it is super nice to be able to stream shows like Family Guy, as well as Disney content, as well as content from all of the different networks. I think in particular, if you're someone who's interested in the Disney bundle, you're looking at adding a live TV streaming service. To me, it's just kind of a no-brainer that you would do it all together with the Hulu Plus Live TV account. It's all together, it's in one app, and you don't have to pay extra now for Disney+, Plus, for Hulu, for ESPN+, Plus. all of it is together. I know for a lot of people, myself included, the one hang-up we had with Hulu Plus Live TV was the cloud DVR, having the you know limitations that it did. Those are going away, and I think that is making this such a fierce competitor against the other live TV streaming services. With Fubo, with YouTube TV, you're not getting all of the content that you get from Hulu. You're not getting all of the content that you get from Disney+. Plus. You're not getting all of the content that you get from ESPN+. Plus. Just the sheer volume of stuff that you get with this Hulu Plus live TV account is awesome. And, you know, for that reason, I would say if there is one streaming service that you plan to sign up for and you want that streaming service to cover live content as well as on-demand content, I think Hulu Plus Live TV is the most solid choice out there, especially with those changes with the cloud DVR. So if you want to sign up for Hulu Plus Live TV, I will have a link down in the description below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried out Hulu Plus Live TV? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things streaming. I want to thank everyone so much for watching, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.